Google is no longer Google, except it kind of is. Uh, this week we learnt that the search giant would soon be restructuring. It's now going to become a smaller part of a much bigger company called Alphabet. Now, Alphabet will be run by the original founders of Google, Sergey Brin and Larry Page, but inside their new company will be a whole raft of new companies that I like to call pure mad science. But to explain exactly what those new companies are, we have our panel this week. Seamus Byrne is from the tech website CNET and Wendy Zuckerman is the host of the ABC Science Versus podcast. All right. Exactly what has transpired here. Everything that you you probably know Google as is still going to be Google, but Google is now going to be owned by... Don't take my Google away from me. <laughs> exactly. Google <laughs> will now be owned by a company called Alphabet. And basically Google uh, will still be what it is, but all these other projects that Google has been doing that always raise the question of why is Google doing that? Mm. Suddenly when it's all part of this new company called Alphabet, and Google will still do all its things and make this company lots and lots of money. Uh, but now the founders of Google, uh, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, will be able to start focusing on all the other things they've had their love affairs with, from Google Glass to all these kinds of other amazing projects. Okay, so Wendy, for me as a consumer, is anything going to change? I guess it's unclear. In the So all of this information came out because Larry Page wrote a blog post on the Google website. Therefore, Very launches... Very friendly sort of collegiate blog post. Absolutely. The, the blog post that launched a thousand articles. <laughs> mm. Including and, one on the RN website. So she asked me to plug it before we started the show. So absolutely. Thank you. Um, and... What he mentioned in that post, which was quite short, was he described Google as Google as we know it, a search engine, um, as being slimmed down. And he used that phrase twice. So he said sort of a bit slimmed down, slightly slimmed down. So does that mean they're going on the Atkins diet or like? Well, it's, it's interesting. I mean, it definitely, and there was a lot of discussion about a lot of excitement of moving into these bigger pet projects, Project Loon, Google X, this sort of thing. So Larry Page is really showing that they're excited about the crazy ideas. And I think he even used the word crazy. And so maybe we will sort of see search I don't want to say stagnate because they're obviously still going to be investing a lot in there, but they're definitely pivoting a little with this. Into full-on mad science. Um, what is the philosophy that drives Alphabet? I mean, we've joked a lot about mad science, but really it does actually seem like that is baked into the DNA of this new company. Uh, yeah, Larry and Sergey have been more excited about these kind of so-called moonshot projects than, than Google itself for a long time. But but that was always, you know, as just engineers who believed in the idea that, you know, technology is going to save the world and make the world a better place, that that I think they thought, well, we've nailed Google, you know, that we we do search and we've got the right team there who does everything brilliantly and now we want to spend more time focusing on all these other ideas and I think an important thing actually uh, is almost the opposite of what you just said in that Alphabet's I think intention is for it to just disappear as a brand that it doesn't want to be the thing that people think of you'll still talk about Google and then all these other companies might actually start to be elevated as their own identities as like as key companies it's important to kind of note that you know Alphabet doesn't own its own domain it doesn't own at Alphabet on Twitter or anything like that I think they have very little intention for it to be a public facing brand it's just going to be that background company I heard one great description of it as the Berkshire Hathaway for the Bernie Man crowd. <laughs> exactly. This is, wow. But there's, there That's is such a nerdy <laughs> reference. I love it. But there is a, an obvious downside to that is that these massive conglomerates, the moment that Alphabet disappears, and I agree with you, I think their plan is not to make Alphabet they, a they massive new brand. They become shadowy. They become shadowy. And so you, you forget that all of these possibly as we move forward, hundreds of brands are associated, possibly owned or developed by Alphabet, and you forget that perhaps they're sharing information in all of these ways. Will it'll break it down? I mean, I think this is a concern. Yeah, look, this is we are in 2015. This is the first to me. This is the first proper cyberpunk company arriving <laughs> in the world, no. where one day we will look back and go that innocuously named Alphabet. How could we have all been so naive <laughs> yeah. to think that they only call that it we're going to take over the, the world? Domain <laughs> for Skynet.com was taken <laughs> because I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't have said there is a concern because there is a lot of excitement. Google Alphabet, whatever it is, has a lot of money and they could really make the world a better place, as Larry Page has said that he is I hoping hope to you do. I watch the video of this where she's got her arms behind her side. <laughs> you know, I think they'll probably be fine. Um, um, but, but I think any time we do start to see a big company swallow up a whole lot of little companies, you just got to look at history, I guess. 
All right, let us know down in the comment section, what do you think is the most interesting part of Alphabet? What are you most interested in seeing over the next couple of years? We'd be very curious to hear your thoughts, if not purely to know what to cover in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, guys.